Right now I'm sitting in a 2010 Mazda 3, and this is a gas car, which means it has an ICE or internal combustion engine, and we're idling, it is burning gas and releasing carbon emissions up into the atmosphere. Now this, of course, leads to the question, if I had to get from point A to point B, could I instead walk, bike, take public transportation, etc.? Subway, not as bad as using a car, right? Especially in city traffic. But furthermore, if I did have to drive, could I use an electric car? I wouldn't be releasing emissions because it's using electricity. I'm not burning gas. I don't have to go to the pump. I have to charge my car. But the answer isn't as simple as that. So let's say I had the choice between switching immediately to a new electric car or keeping my current car for as long as possible. That car being a gas or hybrid car. In that case, with this further elaboration, the answer is actually to keep your current gas or hybrid car and that for as long as possible. The reason being, when you buy a new electric car, it is still a new car, which means it still has to be manufactured like any car would be, right? And furthermore, it has batteries. Now, these batteries actually have a limitation, and that is that they have some exotic minerals and metals. And when they are mined, uh, that, that hefty mining equipment that they have to use to mine these batteries actually adds to the carbon footprint a significant amount, a little bit more so than a newer gas or hybrid. Thank you. So, say for example, you have this electric car, but you, for, but you as a sole person, decide to only charge your car at home, only using the power of your solar panels, right? That would be fantastic, and that would significantly reduce your carbon footprint. But let's say, like the majority, like a high majority of people, you may not have solar panels, but you still decide to charge your car at home a lot because it's convenient. And you can't. It's not like I can go to the gas station at my house. But I can charge my car. Oh my god. <laughs> I can charge my car at home. So, in that case, you're getting the electricity, not from solar panels, although perhaps maybe in your city or district, that may be a high, that may be a larger part of your energy grid. But it's most likely that you're getting it from oil or carbon, etc. These other harm, more harmful ways of getting electricity. And then in that case, then you're pretty much just switching your carbon from your carbon emissions from your gas car to where you get your electricity from. Now, of course, with wishful thinking, that first example I gave of the solar panel and charging your car at home, or like with the Tesla wall battery, with uh, the one at that house over there. That would be wish. That would be nice and wishful thinking, and that would be a perfect world, but it's not. So theoretically, you're just switching over your carbon emissions to where you get your electricity from. If it's something like carbon, where you burn something like coal mining. 